bamboo brush is probably one of the most versatile brushes available in the artist's toolkit. You can see it comes to a very nice point and then has a fat part of the brush and then the stem of the brush is going to be um, bamboo usually but it can be in various materials. Um, they were invented by the Chinese about 300 BC and normally the brush is made from uh, squirrel or goat hair but they've also got them made out of uh, pig hair, mouse hair, buffalo, wolf, rabbit hair and there are even some that are made of um, baby hair so when a child first gets their hair cut um, sometimes they save that hair and make a brush out of it because it's supposedly good luck for the imperial examinations. But let's get into it. Um, these are mainly used uh, for ink and that's why it's called an ink brush in Chinese. And we're gonna be using it though with uh, watercolors though you could certainly use it for ink. So I'm gonna activate my colors uh, so that I have something that we can kind of work with here. And as you play with the colors, the nice thing about this brush you're gonna notice right away is it can easily fill up with a lot of water. These brushes really do hold a lot of water and you can get a lot of use out of them. Um, and like I was saying, it comes to a really nice point. So as you're working with it, you'll see that you can get a very nice thin line or you can get a thicker line by holding on the side of the brush. So that kind of versatility is sort of unusual uh, with brushes. You can also do something uh, that I call a flick where you lay down the brush and then you lift it and pull away and you get this little line. This is something that they do in calligraphy and when I was studying in Japan, we would do this all day for a whole week and then we would learn other techniques, one technique a week, and then build the techniques together to do um, bamboo or other kinds of scenes. The other nice thing about the brush is that it can um, be loaded with one color. So let's say I'm gonna load it with a primary like yellow. So I'm gonna fill the brush with yellow. And then I'm just gonna use the uh, tip of the brush in some blue. And then when I go ahead and draw with it on the side of the brush, you can get a nice little blend kind of going across. So that's kind of fun and something that they do a lot of times, they'll do this with uh, black and gray uh, so that you can get the edge of like a mountain uh, and let it kind of fade off. And you could just clean off your brush and then use some clear water if you want to fade off the bottom edge and then it starts to look a little bit smoky like the edge of a mountain and some mist. <clears throat> you can also use the brush like a sponge. So you can take the brush and squeeze off most of the water and then if you have puddles that you didn't really want there you can use that to kind of pick it up. So uh, it's, it's nice that way, because sometimes you'll put water watercolor where you didn't really want it. You can use water to kind of blend it away. Dip your brush, squeeze it out, and then you can lift off some of that color, which will lighten up mistakes. So that's harder to do with some other brushes. The other thing too is if you squeeze out the brush again, and you can kind of flatten it out, I call this like a broom and you can uh, add some color to it and then get some nice little texture. So you can use it as a dry brush technique and it works nice for filling in textures very quickly. So the bamboo brush has lots of versatile uses. Go ahead and give it a try, experiment a little bit and you might find it becomes your favorite watercolor brush.